Hi friends, I'm here again. This is going to be um, session three of part three of this series. I'll have to figure out how to keep my phone from ringing when I do this. So let's move on. I was talking about energy healers. When you get energy healing done, look for people that actually clear and realign ancestry because we are literally walking encyclopedias of ancestral memory and we want ancestry addressed also. Otherwise, most of our energy healings are, are scanty at best. Uh, they're, they're just like little touch points. Um, none of it's cleared permanently. We want to keep moving forward. We want to see how well we can evolve as human beings. We want to see how much we can actually create in a lifetime. I mean, it's pretty new that now people have three or four different careers in a lifetime. That's really new to this century. So let's just move some more energy. Not even this century, this yeah, yeah. Well, new. It's probably started from the fifties on. But you know, before that, people had the same career no matter what. And they had the same career that their mamas and their papas had. So now I'm looking for an integration up along. They're saying at the top across the chest. Oh, here we go through the throat. So we want your expression to be a beautiful rendition of both masculine and feminine energy. Where what you're doing is you are taking that beautiful push forward energy and you're marrying it with that receptive energy so that your speech comes out like butter, like smooth as silk, and so that your expression is just as smooth as silk, all tied in. You can understand everybody, everyone can understand you. You're having a really nice, beautiful, expressive life and lifestyle. We're talking about something here now at the top of the chest. It's kind of just above the heart. This is about how you're able to exchange your expression with the heart energy. Are you tying in what you're expressing to heart or are you kind of fake in the world? So let's just move some heart energy here and let's let's marry our heart with our um, with our uh, with our expression, so that when you're expressing, you're always expressing through the heart. It's so much more powerful and palpable. It's full freedom because when the heart is expressing, no one's getting any of their feelings hurt. You're able to live a life of transparency and honesty, and you can be yourself. You're not trying to please others. So when people are not grounded and they're not able to put energy down here and then move it back up for their expression, they're always just talking to others, trying to please others without any energy flowing down to their life's purpose or what's important to them. And it's as if they don't have any creations and then they go home and say, how come I'm not creating anything? I'm just kind of creating by default and answering and part of everyone else's creations. That's why. So let's start moving some more energy. We've got a solar plexus to work on. Let's see if I can find, um, I don't have yellow. Uh, let's do some orange. Um, so let's release some solar plexus energy. Make sure that solar plexus is beautifully, beautifully, beautifully connecting to the heart energy, which we did yesterday, but we need that. This is my ability to act. Your solar plexus, right where your rib cage meets, is this is my ability to be moving and grooving and supporting my heart's, my heart's desires. So let's go ahead and open that up. I need a big, ah, yes, yes, yes. And I'm just gonna go ahead and anchor, release, and integrate up throat to solar plexus. So please just relax, give me a nice exhale and a yes, yes, yes. And I can get this done. Okay, I see it. And there we go, I just caught a hold of the the energy current, there we go. We're just gonna marry it to these, these beautiful heart. Oh, good, good, good. We're just gonna also anchor it to this sometimes glitch at the top of the chest and then up through the throat. Nice, okay, now we're able to come right down and get it right nicely tied in with our pelvic floor. This is second chakra. This is all about your sexuality, your creativity. Your, your relationship with money. All right, there we go. We're gonna actually ask the, ask the second chakra to share energy with the solar plexus, financial powerhouse, and then of course with the heart again, heart-centered abundance, heart-centered sex and sexuality, heart-centered creativity, there we go. And then we're gonna move that right up here. Good, all right. All right, we're gonna take this down, we're gonna marry it to your um, chakra one, your grounding cord, and then we're gonna take it down, we're gonna actually tie it in to your roots down here, you know, which is way down here. 
All right, so now that we've just completed all that, I want a nice big exhale from you guys. I'm seeing energy that needs to be released in the right knee. Masculine energy, male overpowering male, kind of like dads that are too hard and too strict. We're gonna release left, uh, sorry, right hip, which is again, masculine energy, overpowering masculine energy. This is more like father son, <sighs> could be bosses. Okay, there we go. We're gonna do a little bit in the shoulder there. We're gonna do some ancestry work around that. All right, so we're gonna move some energy moving as we're just about done with this. All right, we're gonna move some energy right here in the third eye. Really got to get that third eye nice and clean and clear. You know, hi, I'm here in the world. I'm using my intuition. It's one of my superpowers. It's how I'm able to read people, places, things around me, make decisions about whether or not all of that supports my other chakras, which is tight in everywhere else. Make sure that you've employed your third eye to support your entire body and all your other chakras. Third eye is huge. This is your intuition. It's the big deal. But it doesn't do much if it's not tied into your lower chakras, helping you create what you're here to create, okay? Helping you to express what you're here to express. Okay, we're going to tie it in. There we go. And we talked yesterday a lot about the crown. So I don't know how much we need to talk about today with the crown, but your crown chakra, oof, look at that color, is infinite intelligence, okay? This is your ability. It goes all the way over here and... It's this huge funnel cloud. Here, let's use her. Um, the crown chakra is this huge funnel cloud that connects you to the entire universe. It gives you this beautiful knowing and blessing that you're here for a reason. You're here creating and helping the earth be a better place. You're adding to the well-being of the entire universe. Doctors, lawyers, intuitives, well, no matter what you do, we access the intelligence of all the people that lived before us through this crown chakra in our knowledge. It's just how it goes. We never completely reinvent the wheel. We take what we're dealing with on today's physical plane and we take it even farther and we expand it into something newer and bigger and greater to serve us and to keep up with the sign of our times. Again, when we're in that crown chakra, there's a lot of stars up here. Angels and guides, your personal guides are up here. Sometimes I can see those in sessions and I can help a person see and connect with their guides. Sometimes people earn what's called a God spark because they're here on the planet Earth actually doing a lot to expand this earthly plane and help people bump up into better health and better well-being. So they, they actually earn these beautiful stars up here that you can see. So we want to take this beautiful crown chakra, open up, make sure it's marrying perfectly with the third eye, okay? Make sure that it's marrying perfectly with the throat. Let's give a nice big exhale, and let's make sure that it's really perfectly integrated with heart, solar plexus, second chakra, first chakra, and let's tie it in down here so that we can use this beautiful energy up here to actually integrate with our heart's desires and support us in our beautiful creations because we are not here alone at all. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. I was happy to share some ancestry work with you today. Um, I was interrupted twice, so this will be a three-part video. Please exhale and relax and allow yourself to release and integrate the rest of this work. I'll go ahead and close off with a nice big auric field. I'm going to clear your field, which is your nice big protection around your entire body. Uh, we just want you to be nice and clean and clear. It's kind of like protection. It's safety. It helps take all of this work and keep you bundled up together as one so that you can have some clarity in your own little bubble driving around this planet and making your magic happen. Uh, we can't always, when these are down, when these shields are down, we're too absorbent. We're always picking up other people's energies and, and, and we get confused and we're not staying on track with ourselves. Aura field, auric field is very important to have cleared and restrengthened at the end of every energy healing session. Let's exhale and give me a nice yes, 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 yes. Congratulations. This is my second 
learning video that actually clears you guys while you're watching and it also teaches you a lot. You can replay these videos and have your energy field cleared as much and as often as you'd like. These will always be activated with very strong, clear, palpable energy for your benefit. Okay, that's why I made these. Everybody's becoming more and more aware of this. And there will be a time that we spend some time clearing our energy just as we brush our teeth every morning and wash our face every morning. This is part of it. And this is actually everything when it comes to your health, your well-being, your choices and your creations and your manifestations. Instead of always manifesting by default and going, oh, well, I didn't have anything to do with that. You did. You had everything to do with it. You just didn't, weren't paying attention and you, you didn't have the awareness. And no one's been really teaching this until now. So this is the new part of being taught. What is an energy field? How does it help you? All right, we're just about finished. They're taking me out of the field of the or of the uh, the auric field of the universal body. So they're they're the angels and guides. The energies are taking me out of this, right? And we're ending up with you guys in a nice, beautiful, clean, clear, very clear, very sparked up bubble of light. This was fabulous. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you guys watched this today. I'll figure out how to keep callers from calling in, interrupting these videos, and uh, we'll just keep moving forward. There's even more to learn than this. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.